guys see what they added to OP.GG? Now it says that you're excellent in the game, like it, it rates your performance in the game apparently. You're, you can be MVP and also excellent by, by OP.GG evaluation based on the god knows what. So what are we against? We're against severely a top player in this game. Hmm. I think this game, the build is we go Tabis. Trinity, Sterax, Force of Nature, that uh, Jack Show, I think. I think that's the build this year. Or maybe even, yeah, and maybe even actually Force of Nature second, depending on how fed the AP champions get. Are we in Emerald yet? No, we're still playing like Platinum 2, Platinum 1, and 4. It should be an easier game than the last game, because I get to hit stuff here, actually. I mean, to be fair, that's also kind of Kappa. Like, in this game, I get to hit less, but at least not beat that many people are tanky. It makes it very easier. I mean, we're, I think we can, today I get to stream for like, I think I'm gonna stream for like seven more hours. I think we can get at least mid plat by then, who knows. Because it takes me like, what, three wins per division right now? So we can maybe get to like platinum one, plat, uh, platinum two today. Surely you won't lose the next three games. I mean, I doubt I'm gonna lose games in a row. That would be really hard to do. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck she's trying to do there. Like, yeah, let's let's go trade with the fucking five stack Darius. I wonder how that's gonna go. Had that hit, she would have lost so much. She would have lost enough HP for, for me to die for. Not over. Yeah, let's just reset it now. Let's go get long sword. If he wants to walk back into lane, he has to go around. This guy really reset? There's no way he reset, right? Oh my god, he actually reset it. But he's not good in the head. Man, is this gonna be one of those games where I'm gonna just freeze against the guy because he can't- he doesn't wanna even try anything against me? Not even to feed me? Oh my gosh. Yeah, this game's gonna be really boring to watch, boys, I'm sorry. My laner is just a bit of a vagina. I'm getting so bored of this laning pace. This guy is just giving up his whole family line. We don't get into me right now. Like, I'm, I've zoned him two waves of XP so far, like... The guy's down two levels almost. My god, these games are so fucking boring. Like, I'm top playing, bro. I'm up like 40 fucking CS or something. What should they really have done differently? Level 1 to not get zoned off XP? Nothing. She can't really do anything differently. The best she can do is start E and try to E me when I try to zone her and stoke the XP last second or something like that. She always gets zoned level 1. Even though the lane is so short nowadays, I feel like you could just like E me last second and just grab the XP and walk away. This matchup is like the Aatrox match if you get to zone the guy on the first two, three waves. Did he go AFK or what? Oh no, eh? hello. Hey, my laner is alive. Forgot he exists. Baby, this is not canon. Beautiful. Why is my support top lane I genuinely do not need him at all. I can't legit don't need this guy in my lane at all right now. I think we entered a bit, we shouldn't have done this now, our Caitlyn just left the water on both men for this play. We made her lose flash for like 2-3 waves on both men. Congrats to these players man, they're really trying their best to not hit me though, I, I gotta give them that at least. I'm j Like back in the day when I would play in these ranks, the laners would just fucking constantly die to me on repeat, you know? Now at least they try not to int you compared to before. Which is quite funny to be fair, I didn't expect that. What? What are they all doing here? Are you fucking kidding me? What? Why is there four people here? What? Okay, I mean, they, they get punished pretty hard for this play, like... <laughs> what the fuck? Like, oh, their whole team was so... <laughs> stopping me from proxy. <laughs> that's not a good play from them. No, oh, yeah, I'm chilling, that's pretty good for us. I got what I wanted anyways, I got my Trinity from this.
Finally, she fucked up. It took her a long time. I can't fucking catch a rumble, by the way. Bro, I couldn't catch the fucking rumble. It took me two summoners to kill him. What the fuck? How OP is rumble, by the way? so slow man it's so boring like I, every game is on average like 20 minutes right now which is so fucking depressing oh my god it can't be. Just don't try to do bro like just come to a fucking ash what? my god this team has so much guns Watch him flash in and take him. What name is legit a couple of NPCs? Like, what the fuck is this? I mean, I don't know. Like, if they just come insta, we take that ash every single time. I don't know why the fuck they're trying to 1v2v5 their team. Lethal tempo, I'm not sure if I can win 1v1 now. Oh, this might be bad. Because I don't have I need lethal tempo to win the 1v1 in this matchup. Oh, I hate Jin though. Why do they have to pick Jin? I mean this game, the build is to have two people already going into me. I think we go Trinity Sterax Jack show, honestly. I think that's the build. <laughs> I love these guys to say this. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, Avengers! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I just got fucking Avengers there. Where my cap picked up incoming? Yeah, I can fucking tell. Put delay? Nah, I'm not gonna delay. Bro, I'm not gonna put delay against randoms, bro. Like, I don't care. I'm not expecting 100% rate anyways. Even though I, I still think I can win this game easily. It's just generally annoying for my gym. Or the E you win. Not, the E doesn't really matter, it's the Q that matters. The Q matters in the one we win. The E just doesn't fuck your movement. I think it's easy. If he E's you in and you guys have the same boots, you can't really Q on him unless you hit the W. That's the problem. And even then, if he's really inside of you and he hit the W, you can actually walk in and dodge your Q in the one we win. That's the problem with this matchup. That's like when you're playing against a good Mordecai, so this matchup is actually pretty annoying to win. Like, this Mordekaiser should be like that Irelia from last game and just not try anything against him, you know? Like, that, the best way to win against the Smurf is to play your team 1v9s, literally. Like, cause you're not gonna beat a Smurf yourself. There's no, especially if it's like somebody challenger level. If you're like Platinum and you're playing against the challenger, you will never lead, beat the challenger in lane. Like, it doesn't matter what you do, you're gonna get gapped. That's the problem. Cause you're just that rank for a reason. And my mechanics are way better than theirs as well.
pretty confident in my skills, so as long as they don't counterpick me very hard. Yeah, I mean, that, probably a lot of people feel that way. The thing is, it's like, if you're not Diamond Plus, you, like, even a Diamond player won't stand a chance against a, a challenger, you know? But if you're below that, it's really unlikely that you can win against them. It's just genuinely unlikely. You having fun? No, I want to kill myself playing these games. They are so fucking boring. When I was your elo as well, when I was low elo, I was playing against the smurf and I'm like, I'm really good on the champion, I'm feeling pretty confident I can beat the smurf, you know? And it's like, that doesn't happen, you know? He just built, he just did stuff I never even fucking fathomed that was possible at the time. Most low elo players want to improve, yeah? And they're just thinking about fucking, you know, what the, they're watching guides, they're watching streamers, okay, what should I do here, here, and here, you know, while in the game? Well, a challenger will do all of that without even thinking about it, you know? That's the difference between you and the challenger. Like, he's just autopiloting every correct decision while you're focusing on making the good decisions, you know? There's a reason I can fucking talk and play is because I just know without even thinking what I need to do. The decisions are so, like, inbuilt into my brain that, like, you can't, like, I can just focus fully on the laning phase without you having to even, like, without even having to think about what I'm gonna do, you know, during the game. Because I just know exactly what I need to do. And that's why you can't win against the challenger. Because you're just thinking to how to win the game and he doesn't even think about it. He just knows what he needs to do to win. Oh my god. Yeah, no, whatever. Spitting facts? Yeah, I mean, it, that's literally how it works. That's why, generally, you can't really beat something. I like your ego look. You're my type of guy. I mean, it's not even ego, it's just facts, you know? I, I was back in the day like a really good smurf, you know? And it's like a lot of low elo players always ask me like, is there a world you can actually beat me? And it's like, no, like, if I play good, like, correctly, and I will, and if you don't play the same way, you're never gonna beat me. That's the thing. That's why, like, I'm generally better than the most top laner in high elo as well, because I, I perfected my early game in a sense. That's why I'm so good at this game anyways. Like, my, my lacking points are mid to late game. That's why I, to, I have to focus more when I play those parts of the game. But when it comes to laning phase, my laning phase is, like, really good. Like, I have to think about mid to late game, because mid to late game is different every game. That's why you have to focus more. That's why I focus more on that part of the game. But that's the thing, though. Early game is the only part of the game which is same every single game. With small adjustment. But that part of the game is the only ga part of the game that you can... Fully control how it goes. And if you can make it 100% go in your favor every single game, that's why you're really fucking good at it. That's, that's when you become a really, really good player. When you can just dictate every early game to go in your favor. Even playing against junglers, a spam gank, yeah, catch that snowballs me. But the thing is, you can even control to fucking avoid that gank. You can avoid that gank. It's not like it's unavoidable. You play a lane. Why, why do you think I two wave crash in most of my games? Because so I can't get cheese gank. So I can get info on the enemy jungler. Because if I get, if I know how he paths in the first like rotation, I know how he's gonna path the rest the next ten minutes. Because I understand how jungle pathing works. Two wave crash is OP out of the reason. If you know where the enemy jungler starts, you know what he's gonna do the next ten minutes. Like this game, Jax got invaded level 1, okay, he can never cheese gank me, let's do 3 to 4 wave crash, let's go invade him topside. There's no way he can ever gank me there, you know? That, like, just that small example is what I'm thinking of when I'm control- when I say early game, you can control it to go in your favor, bro. You just do the most optimal decisions that guarantee your success. <sighs> so annoying. This game's gonna be a bit annoying to win, guys. <laughs>
Wait, a Poji crash wave too over. I don't do that actually. I don't wave too crash. It just seems like I do every single game. I, I really don't. It's a big misconception in this stream about that.